the woke left are coming after the lead singer of my favorite band. Even though he's on their side, let's talk about it. So before we get into the drama that has now befallen this singer, please like and subscribe. We like to keep you posted on this channel. All right, so this article came out of independent.co.uk. Let's read the headline. Maddie Healy from the 1975 sparks backlash over interview that mocks Japanese, Hawaiian, and Scottish people. And people have also come after him for sexualizing a US rapper by the name of Ice Spice. And we'll get to that in just a moment. So Maddie Healy of the 1975 went on the Adam Friedland Show, which is a podcast, and mind you, a comedy podcast. I cannot stress that enough. Where he and two other men, Adam Friedland and Nick Mullen, discussed a wide variety of different subjects. We'll read this article. During the conversation, Healy, Friedland, and Mullen appeared to make a number of derogatory remarks about women, as well as mocking the indigenous Scots language, Chinese, and Hawaiian accents. At one point in the podcast, Healy mentioned U.S. rapper Ice Spice, whom he claimed he tried to message on Instagram, sparking a conversation about her. The group then appeared to confuse her heritage, a sin of all sins, by referring to her as Hawaiian, Inuit, and Chinese, mocking the accents of each. Now, before we go on into further comments here, I stressed it's a comedy podcast for a reason. Since when were you not allowed to do accents in comedy? Since when has that been a thing? Is the threshold for offense grown so low now that you're not even allowed to imitate somebody's voice anymore or somebody's accent anymore? Now, this next paragraph gets into something that, you know, even I might be on the fence on uh, as a joke. Further on in the podcast, the British singer encouraged the host to do impressions of Japanese people working in concentration camps, later joining in himself. Horrible. Let's hear it. Let's hear the little clip of him doing this. In, in sorry, both Korea it. and China. Yeah. Well, what do you mean, sorry, me? Well, because um, oh, you're I'm talking about the Holocaust. No, I'm just saying that like, you know that, what happened the whole day. The Holocaust. Basically, the Holocaust. Do you think so any Japanese guys were working at the camps? Like they were part of like a foreign exchange program? I, mean, yeah, yeah. I do really want to hear your impression of that. <laughs> 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 uh, please uh, <laughs> step into the. <laughs> it's time for shower. Uh, please step into no, the shower. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, a prince. Uh, we have. Not a joke I would make. Am I mad that somebody else made it? <laughs> no. Am I gonna get offended by it? No. If I got offended by jokes and comedy that I would not particularly say, I'd be offended for the rest of my life. Because guess what? That's what comedy is. It's kind of the final frontier as far as free speech is concerned. Everybody gets made fun of by comedians. So when you go on a comedy podcast, I guarantee you're gonna make some jokes. And some of those jokes are not gonna land for everybody. And that's okay. But another singer hopped into the controversy. His name is Youngblood. And he called out Maddie Healy for sexualizing US rapper Ice Spice, who, if you guys are familiar with, <laughs> has no problem sexualizing herself, but let's read his comments. Love listening to three privileged white dudes sit around and objectify a young black female artist who's blowing up. Welcome to your 30s, I guess. Don't know what race had to do with any of the conversations that they were having, but he's saying they're objectifying and sexualizing her. I tried to look up Ice Spice's music video just to show you guys a little taste of what she puts out there. And <laughs> it's so sexual that YouTube gives a disclaimer saying this video may be inappropriate for some users. And you have to click a button saying that you understand that and you wish to proceed. <laughs> look up her name on Google. And uh, I think we can question who's sexualizing what and who and who's objectifying themselves. Not to say that she's wrong for doing it, but if a man wants to slide in your Instagram DMs because of how you sexualize and objectify yourself, are we mad at the man? Probably not. We're all allowed to do these things. It's okay that she sexualizes herself, but when men respond in a sexual manner, that's justifiable, if not, totally understandable. So these are the things that people are going off on him on Twitter for. They're calling him racist. They're calling him Islamophobic. They're calling him uh, misogynistic for these comments that he's made on a comedy podcast. And guys, he's a woke leftist. It's in his music. He talks about it publicly. He is very much on the side of the left, but guess what? They eat their own. There is no room for comedy. There is no room for jokes. There is no room for being yourself within the woke left because 
they want to eat themselves at the end of the day. That's how low the threshold is for being offended. It's how low the threshold is for sensitivity, that even people who are on your side making art about how much they are on your side, you must come after them too. It's never enough. You're never woke enough. And God forbid you make a joke. But guys, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Tell me how you feel about it. Were you offended by something that he said? Do you even know who this person is? Do you agree that the woke left eats their own or do you disagree? We always like to encourage healthy debate in the comments. And please like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified every time we post a video for you guys.